You can't really blame yourself, though, can you? You can't. It's not something you Part can of blame. it, I can. I take. You think I so? Take, well, it's both, my man. Like, mm. of course, I got manipulated into it. My parents were into it. I, there was no way I wasn't going to fall into it. Of course, I, I know I'm a victim in that sense. At the same time, I can't blame everything on my parents. You do grow up and mature, and sooner or later, I have the opportunity to take my life into my own hands, and I don't have to keep following. So that part, I take responsibility for. Again, I hold two two viewpoints. In the cold, mm. we're taught to think black and white, but now everything to me looks in shades of gray. So it is possible, I think, to hold two viewpoints that seem contradictory, but they're both true at the same time. Like 100%, we are victims of psychological tools being used against us that we cannot be faulted for not knowing, and therefore we couldn't see the red flags. And it's quite clever the way it's laid out, and I was born into it. The flip side of that is, it's not all my parents' fault. It's not our Hubbard's fault. And there is a deep part of me that wanted that to be true, that knew it was bullshit deep down. And so you have to take some responsibility for what did Scientology offer me? It was my replacement family. I wasn't getting what I needed from my family, even though they weren't abusive. Mm. So L. Ron Hubbard became my substitute father figure. I was getting something out of it. I had people that would listen to me. They loved Bombay. I felt special. That hit a part of me that, needed to be looked at that i didn't want to look at and so a part of me wanted to go along with it too Do you know what i mean by that yeah you couldn't i couldn't necessarily see it at the time it was mm. unconscious but i i do recognize being out of it that i wanted to believe because it's safer and easier than having to look at myself and if my parents believe it and if tom cruise is in it it seems a little out there these are incredible claims mm. But I want to believe that it's true, and wouldn't it be amazing? And so I have to take some responsibility for that, is all I'm saying, dude. It gave me some things that I was lacking within, mm. that family, you know, substitute family and stuff. That's real trauma that needed to be dealt with. And dealing with it by giving myself over to an abusive, another abusive relationship like Scientology, part of that rests on me because even though it was unconscious and it took a miracle of that guy dropping the book off for me to get out of it, from that point forward, I was responsible for my own life because I has the eyes to see. And at that point, I could have done what a lot of Scientologists do and still been in the dark. But once I was given the key, it is my responsibility due to work it out and, and find out what was missing in me that attracted me to Scientology in the first place. Yeah, no, that, that, that makes sense. That's fair enough.